sell a big question mark for you right don't worry i'll help you understand that cell was discovered by robert hook in 1665 he looked at a thin slice of cork under the microscope and saw many box-like structures he called these boxes cells in 1838, the cell theory was put forward. This theory meant that all living things are made up of cells. Hence, they are the building blocks of living organisms. All cells are similar in their basic structure and function, but are not identical. They differ in size and shape. New cells are formed due to division in old cells. Organization of cells in the body of a living organism determines its structure. Now you understand what is a cell? Okay, I will help you understand more. There are two types of organisms, unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are the ones that are made up of a single cell. Examples are amoeba and paramecium. Multicellular organisms are the ones that are made up of many cells. Examples are animals and humans. It is estimated that a fully grown human is made up of 100 trillion cells. That's a huge amount, right? A cell forms tissue. A tissue forms an organ. An organ forms an organ system. An organ system forms an organism. Cells are different in shapes and sizes. Nerve cells have fibers that are more than one meter long to pass messages. Muscle cells can expand and contract. Skin cells are flat to cover our body. White blood cells can change their shape to destroy germs. An ostrich egg measuring 110 mm multiplied by 130 mm is the largest single cell. The smallest cell is a bacterial cell that measures 0.0001 mm multiplied by 0.0005 mm. Structure of a cell The basic component of a cell are cytoplasm cell membrane, nucleus, and organelles. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that makes up most of the inside of a cell. Surrounding the cytoplasm is a thin covering called the cell membrane. The cell membrane separates the cell from its surroundings. It gives cell a shape. Flowing in the cytoplasm in the center is the nucleus. It is the control center of the cell. Inside the nucleus, there is a nuclear membrane that separates nucleus from cytoplasm. There is nucleoplasm that is the liquid present in the nucleus. There is also a spherical body called as nucleolus. There are thread-like structures called as chromosomes which carry genes. The nucleus and the cytoplasm together makes up the protoplasm. In the cell, there are organelles such as mitochondria that oxidize food and provide energy, vacuoles that store food, water, and waste. In addition, there are Golgi bodies that secrete enzymes such as endoplasmic reticulum that transport substances within the cell, ribosomes that make proteins, lysosomes that help destroy old cell structures, centrosomes that regulate cell division. Cell division. Cell division means dividing of a cell into two cells. These two cells are known as daughter cells. Stickman, where are you? Uh, Stickman, are you here? Okay, here you come. So now you understand what cell is? 
Okay, good job. We come with interesting topics every week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till that, bye bye.